See what I mean? It seems to always work. So this is a very good trick that I'm glad I figured out. Now, this is just some of the stuff that sold. There are two things that haven't sold. Let me show you those real quick. Now in a few videos ago, you heard me talking about some Nike React Prestos and how I highly recommend that. So not gonna lie, I think me saying that has done something to the market of Nike React Prestos because we have quite a few of them. We have these size 13 and all Volt colorway. They're so nice. Nike React Prestos are the way to go. Probably one of my favorite shoes I own. And then we also have another size 13 in this red, like almost a strawberry, I would say, kind of colorway. That's what it reminds me of. But yeah, like I said in the last episode, I really love Nike React Prestos. And I think because of that, prices of them have skyrocketed. Not gonna lie. Like, I remember these used to be sitting at the Nike outlet for mad cheap and had no resale value. But now, like all of them have such good resale value. So these are the two things that didn't sell. Let me go show you the stuff that we bought and has sold already. So first, starting off with these Jordan 2s. We found these at Champs. They are mad weird. Not gonna lie. Very, very weird. Don't tell anyone I said this because, you know, someone did buy these. But they kind of look like clowns shoes not gonna lie it's a size seven and a half women's i am not a fan of these whatsoever and then moving on another size 13 another all red like a maroon nike react presto like i said these have just been popping up everywhere and they've been selling so well it's crazy so again if you ever see these and they're on sale pick them up i recommend them 100 percent you're not gonna be disappointed get them out before resale is way too high and then we also have these ones you saw them last episode an all black nike presto this sold so well see these i paid like 80 bucks for and they sold for an crazy crazy markup so if you ever see these always pick them up such a great cop nike react presses i cannot stress that enough on how good these are and then we got these jordan one lows in the gym red a size 10 not gonna lie very 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 terrible profit margin on these but it did sell for a few bucks so why not a few bucks is always better than nothing but at the end of the day not the best profit margin whatsoever and then i don't know how we found these we got very very lucky with these women's jordan one and like people have been calling them the heineken jordan ones but yeah a size seven we found them at foot locker Crazy enough, found them at Full Locker. I guess they restocked or something. But yeah, they sold good margin on them too. These are some Air Max 90s triple whites. We got a size seven and a size eight. I believe these are the last ones they had, at least the last one of the mesh material. They had a lot more of the all leather ones. However, they weren't as cheap as these ones. They weren't on sale at all. But yeah, both of these sold. And then moving on here, another not so great profit margin. It was okay. These Adidas NMDs. I literally only paid like 50 bucks for them, which is crazy. If you're a McDonald's worker and you need some new fresh sneakers, these are definitely them. They give me mad McDonald's vibes. I could have sold it to you if you were a size 13 I had these, but you know, now they sold. And then with Pride and everything, the Nike outlet had these. Last year they had so much more like Pride sneakers, but these ones are the only ones they had. Air Max 290. I hate this shoe so much. It's mad ugly. It's just like some of the earlier shoes that we've seen with this translucent upper so you can see your nasty toes in there. Not a fan of the model of them at all, but they sold, not for a crazy profit, but they did sell. Then we have these Vapor Maxes. I believe we got these from the outlet as well. Not 100% sure where exactly we got these from. Could have been the outlet or maybe Foot Locker. But yeah, they were on sale for like 90 bucks. Sold them for a decent profit, nothing too crazy. Size 10 and a half women's, or women's size is like a violet ash. I don't like the colorway, it looks mad dirty for me. Like it just looks, it just looks like it comes dirty when these are like brand new. But moving on, we have some Air Max 96. Let's start off with these ones. You've seen them a lot. I've seen them so many times. These Air Max 97 worldwide. Really not much to say about them. If you've been following the series so far, you've seen these so many times. And then also these size 8 and these Air Max 97 in this gray, black, white, red. It's an okay colorway. Not the best. Surprisingly, it doesn't sell as for more. I could have sworn these would have been a crazy good sell, but for some reason they weren't. You know, sometimes you're not always right on colorways, but for some reason I thought these would be way better than what they are. But unfortunately, they didn't sell for nearly as much as I wanted, but they did sell, which is always great. And finally, we have these Air Max 97s. It's a women's one, red with some gold on the top. Not much to say. I'm not 100% sure. For some reason, this looks mad familiar to me. I don't know if I sold this in the challenge or if I've just sold these before I, while I've been reselling, but these might have been seen in the challenge before, may have not. I have not 100% 
100% sure. Comment down below letting me know if these have been in this challenge before. And tell me which episode it was, because I, I don't even remember. We've sold so many sneakers since then, since the very first episode. Then finally, the very last one, we got these Air Force Ones. I'm not 100% sure what the name of the colorway is, but it's an all silver colorway with some blue. It's a kid size, six and a half, really not much to say. A lot of stuff here, but there's still more, and let me just put them on the table now. And then we have all of these. So these three right here, I actually bought off someone. So we got some Jordan 1 Low breads. I got for $110, brand new, size 11, they sold. and then then these Jordan 12s, size 10 and a half. I got these for 220. And then these Jordan 11 Jubilees, I paid 280. So all of these I paid under retail, and they're all brand new, all DS. We made some good profit off those. Then we have these Jordan ones in a grade school size, size seven Y, the metallic gold. I was thinking of holding on to those, but I think I'm just gonna sell them just to get the money because we're holding a lot of pairs right now. And then we have two pairs of these Air Max 90s in this blue colorway. We have a size. 10 and a half and a size 10. They were $99, so like $105 with tax. Pretty good. I don't think we made crazy profit on them, but at the end of the day, but we did make a good amount of money on these. And then we have another pair of these Nike free runs. You already know how I feel about free runs. I don't like them at all. Size eight, they sold. And then a size six women in another free run is like the Oreo colorway you've seen before. And then you saw these last episode too. These Nike Kyrie sixes, the lows in this glow in the dark colorway. Size 11 and a half again, that's all they had. They only seem to have 11 and a half because that's the only thing I've been able to find. Then we have another pair of these Element 55s in a size seven and a half, a really small size, nothing too crazy. Then we have these Air Max 95s in a size 13C, a very, very small shoe. They also sold, I told you, small shoes like this, I've made a good amount of money on. They were on sale for 80 bucks, which is still really crazy. But the retail, as you can see right there, is 130. So yeah, I have to go package all these up and I'll see you guys in a minute. And then we have some Jordan 1 Mid that we bought and a few of them that I said we were gonna hold. I'm just gonna be selling these just because I'm doing a big bulk deal for this guy. So before we get to these Jordan 1s that we were holding, let's go to the ones that we bought. So we got a five and a half in these Gym Red ones. You've seen them before. Another one of these Gym Reds in a size five and another one in a six and a half Y. And then in a six Y we have these, an orange and blue pair. These ones were slightly more expensive at 120. And then for the ones that we were holding, these yellow ones again I'm only selling them because it's a big bulk deal and I have a lot of pairs anyways plus four pairs isn't, isn't gonna hurt so we got a five and a half four and a half five Y and another four and a half Y pretty much I'm just selling my small sizes just because I don't want to be holding small sizes I'm actually really happy that I'm getting rid of I think I only have one more four and a half Y because these never sell so this is honestly like a blessing in disguise and this is everything we have it's a whole bunch of stuff this is probably like the biggest the table has ever been so far filled with shoes Let's start off right here. You've seen these last episodes. Some Nike React Element 87s. You've seen them before with this translucent upper. A good running shoe. We have three pairs of these. A size 9, 12, and a 13. You know the reason why we bought these. Because of last episode. And if you didn't watch last episode, I highly recommend it before watching this one. But anyways, let's move on to the stuff behind it. Now, I'm so confused about these ones. Because as you can see, it comes in an Air Max 90 box. It looks exactly like an Air Max 90. However, they're called Air Max threes which I don't really I don't get it I'm pretty sure this is the exact way an Air Max 90 looks I could be wrong though but apparently it's an Air Max 3 and it's all white with some pink gray and dark blue accents to help with it we got these at the Nike outlet they had these for a long time but they just got 40% off of them so I grabbed a few pairs size seven and a half size eight and a size ten these are all women's sizes by the way if you can tell by the colorway but anyways let's move on back over here we got two pairs of these Nike airspan twos they were just really cheap i'm pretty sure they're like 37 bucks with all the discounts i got on them so this one is a size 13 they're both really big sizes and then this one just a different colorway black and with a little bit of red accent this one's a 12 and a half nike airspan twos they had these at the outlet like over a year ago these are the last ones i've seen they were on like the back wall and now moving on to these kd 13s if you've been watching every episode of the series you might remember this one this is the oreo color of these kd 13s They've 
been sitting at the store for I don't know how long. The last time you saw these is when they were 40% off, but literally the next day they took the 40% off. Maybe it was a mistake, but just recently they went back to 40% off. So I got a few sizes, as you can probably tell. Size 10, 10 and a half, and then under there is a size 13. So now that we looked at all of these so far, I'm gonna take them off the table just to make some more room. So let's go back over here with these ones. Like I've been saying, if you've been watching the series, you know about these Nike Free Run 2018 in a fly knit material on the top. The Oreo colorway, it's a women's size. We have three different sizes, six and a half, nine and a half, and a size 10. I am fairly confident this is gonna be the only channel you see weird shit like this for sneakers. Like, come on, what even is this? I am gonna guarantee that most of you have never seen this shoe ever. They are some ACG React Terra Gobe. They are just, I don't know, they are very, very weird. Not gonna lie at all, but yeah. They sold a size nine and a half. I only really got them because they were an easy flip. They were an easy like $5. Let's move on to these. Some Air Max Pluses. If you've been following along with this and you've seen the past episodes, you've known we had like an all gold version of these. And you would know that I just, I am not a fan of this model at all. I, I don't know. I don't like just how the shoe looks. Not a fan at all. However, it did sell. So that's always good. Then moving on. We got these Nike Zoom Pegasus 36. I can't remember if this has been on the channel yet. Just another running shoe, nothing too crazy on it. And then, pretty sure these were from last episode or the video before that, but we found another pair of these, a size seven and a half. It seems like they only have small sizes left, like a size seven and a half, like I said. Hopefully I can go back and buy some more of these. I'm really tempted in just buying every single pair they have left because these have been doing so, so, so good for us. These Air Vapor Max Pluses in this crazy gradient from a blue all the way down to a pink. I really like this. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's a glacier something. But again, 129 when retail is 260. How could you go wrong with that? These have been making us so much profit. I wouldn't be surprised if this shoe alone because we've had quite a few pairs of them have brought us close to $2,000 in profit just because of how good they've been selling for us. And then we'll finish off this row with this last pair. So again, I'd be surprised if any of you have seen this shoe before. These Nike Metcon 6, they're the what does. As you can tell, different colors everywhere with a silver back toe. So on this pair, it's different colors. And then they have these insoles where you can put into the shoe because they're also like, they're really, really flat. They're a flat pair of shoes. Not sure what they're like using for but a size 13 they sold now let's move on to these we actually had five pairs of these new balances in this white dove colorway however I sold them in a meetup and I didn't have my camera to record and we have one pair left and I have to send this pair out so there was five pairs of these these were these were decent for us they weren't anything too crazy tell me if I'm wrong but does this shoe not go like dummy hard I love this shoe no idea why I think it's just the color I really love the light brown and brown colorways I really like them I showed them to my mom my mom as soon as I opened them up, I didn't even tell her I liked them. First thing she says, these are mad ugly, you know? Kind of made me sad just a little bit that I have such shitty taste, but it is what it is. Moving on, we have these women's sizes. Oh, by the way, for these ones, we had three pairs of 10 and a half and two pairs of 10s. We only have a 10 and a half left. And then for these ones, it's a size 10 women's, as you can probably tell by the colorway that it's a women's shoe. Honestly, it gives me mad Easter vibes. Not gonna lie, it just the colorway gives me some mad, mad Easter vibes. I don't know, I can't tell if I like this model or not. I don't know, I don't, I don't have a pair of New Balances. If I would ever get a pair, maybe it would be something like these. Comment down below and let me know what you think about these New Balances. And then all the way back here, we have a size 13 in an all white Air Max 90. These will get mad dirty so fast. There's really not much to say. It's just an all white Air Max 90. Pretty much the little brother of the Air Force One. And then if you remember from the last episode, I believe, or maybe it was the one before that, we bought these. So these are already part of the challenge they finally sold a size 13 we made a decent bit of money on these i think it was like maybe we even doubled how much we spent we could have made 80 bucks i forget how much though not gonna lie it's gonna be on screen regardless for you to see so yeah i have to go make a lot of boxes as you can probably tell so i'll go do that right now so while i go do that i'm just gonna snap my fingers and magically it'll be the next day and then we have a few more things starting off here we got these ultra boost in this sydney colorway really not much to say I got these for so cheap considering you guys all know Ultra Boost can be expensive. Retail on them is 250 and I got them for like 62 bucks. Really, really good. We also got another pair of these all black.
black Air Max 97s. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. It's a women's size, size seven and a half. I've had a few of these on the channel so far. Not much to say, it's just an all black 97. And then you've seen these before quite a bit actually. This might be the last time you see them. A size seven and a half and these Nike free runs in the Oreo colorway. And then probably a Jordan 1 you've never seen before. They're called the Jordan 1 Nova XF. Just a really, really weird Jordan 1. It's like the royal colorway, but a very, very shiny blue. It also has the, the strap up top, and the laces are very, very strange, not gonna lie. It has a weird tongue. I bet none of you guys have ever seen this shorter one, though, not gonna lie. Comment down below if you've ever seen this one before and where you saw it. Because this is the first time I've ever seen them. They're a size 10 women's. Then moving on, you've seen them before. I told you these are so good. I bought the last pair, but I bought every single pair they had left, and this was the last one. So sad to see. And they were a size 7. And then we have these 97s in a gray and red. I'm fairly sure you've seen them before. They're like 100 bucks. Pretty sure I only got like $20 profit out of them. And then we also have these all red Air Max 90s. They're on sale for like $99. Which isn't too bad. But yeah, just an all red pair. Unfortunately, they're not as profitable as they used to be because all red sneakers used to be really high in demand. And we also got probably a more in demand shoe right now, an all white version of an Air Max 90. Just a triple white pair of some Air Max 90s. And then finally, these are some weird space hippies. I don't know if you've seen them before. I might have had them on the channel. I'm not 100% sure. But it comes with its own little bag, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I didn't know what came with that.